What's up guys, welcome back to Barfly Freeport. Today we're doing another test video. I know you guys like test videos. Uh, and we've been discussing this in the comments with a bunch of viewers um, because I think we mentioned it in the last test video and then people in the comments were like, I really wanna do that, so we're gonna do it. And what that is, is we are going to test. We are gonna do a head-to-head. -head. We're gonna do head-to-head -head combat with the Hamilton Beach drink mixer. Here, I wanna move this out of the way so you guys can see. The Hamilton Beach drinks mixer against a milk frother. Will a milk frother uh, do the same type of mixing and aeration as a Hamilton Beach mixer? If this works, it's gonna be kind of a game changer because this one, the pro model, is about a hundred bucks. Although you can get one for 60 or 30. The cheap model, I think it's like $30 for, for a Hamilton Beach. But this one was the pro edition, so it's, it was a hundred dollars. And this one, Marius got this on Amazon and it was a little, it was pretty, pretty an expensive one, right? How much was this one? I don't know. Sure. Oh, you don't even know? Oh, uh, Marius just buys things randomly on Instagram. <laughs> I was gonna say on Instagram. Uh, Marius just randomly buys things on uh, Amazon, has no idea how much they, they cost. Sometimes, I mean, it was like, oh, we should have this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, look it up. What do you think it costs? Well, we are... I mean, this is a very cheap one. I, I couldn't imagine that it even cost twenty dollars. I would, I would probably think like ten bucks. Yeah, I'm going with uh, nine ninety nine on this one. Okay. Or I, I mean, I think you probably got it for five ninety nine because I know you're a bit of a deal hound. So it was thirteen ninety seven. What? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sorry, but you, well, I mean, it does work. It's, I mean, you can tell it's a little bit cheap, but it, you know, it does work and it has a robust spin. So, so. I don't know, $13, I, I don't know. I, I, I was gonna say $14.99 and I would have been closer, but I really thought this was cheaper than that. Okay, well, it's very inexpensive, but $100 versus, uh, versus uh, let's just round it up to four, was it you say 13? $15 with tax. Was it, oh, 15 bucks with tax. Okay, we'll round it up to 15 bucks. So 15 bucks versus $100. So let's talk through the method here because this is a home test. It's not under laboratory circumstances. We're just doing kind of a rough test just as you would make a cocktail to see how these two different pieces of equipment stack up. We're taking these two vessels, all right? One's a grand tin, and this is what came with the Hamilton Beach. Um, I believe there are roughly the same size. This is 28 ounces, and I believe this is the same one. It's just shorter and squatter, and this was taller and leaner. We're gonna be making a pina colada. I'm not gonna do the cocktail in this video just because uh, you can go to the pina colada video on the Educated Barfly, but if you want the specs below, I'll put the specs below. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna put the same amount of pebble ice in there with my trusty pebble ice scoop, and then we're gonna let it rip, right? For like, let's just say 10 seconds, mm -hmm. right? We've marked a glass with a little blue piece of tape here. Uh, and this is so we don't get things mixed up because we have done that in the past videos and everyone's like, oh, it doesn't, you didn't prove anything because you got them all mixed up. So we're not gonna mix anything up in this video. We know that we tend to do that on occasion. Uh, and then we're gonna see whether this works. Now, I am on a very strict diet right now, so I cannot drink any alcohol for the next six weeks. So we are gonna have a guest taster come up and taste the cocktails and give uh, the impressions on whether or not they stack up, whether mm -hmm. they taste the same. He's gonna, you're, you're gonna, have, they're gonna have to kind of air, like judge it on aeration a little bit, right? Like all, like, how are we, what, what are the criteria? I mean, can you really tell the difference? That's gonna be Can you tell the difference? Yeah. So like aeration, flavor, um, how it looks, Yeah. you know, because the whole point of a Hamilton Beach mixer is that not only it, does it mix, but the motor spins the spindle at such a like, you know, fast speed that it aerates the cocktail really nicely and you get some nice bubbles. Which is the same um, thing the milk frother does. To right, froth but it's a milk. very smaller spindle. Right. What is it? Eh. Yes, it's a smaller spindle. Not this is much. It's a much smaller. I mean, here, do we have to really compare sure. these? I mean, like, it's a, it's a much thinner. It's much smaller. Well, it's, you, it's, a, you're, it's not the stick, it's the, the the thing, yeah, it's not. We're talking about much. the spindle, this thing, right, but, this guy, and this guy. But the thing that the motor turns. I know, but it's the uh, the end part that matters. It's not the. Oh, spindle. this guy, these yeah, guys. Those are the only things that actually matters. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, this is just a the, delivery system for these yeah, two things, right? So the thing about this is that this has little, like, what? coils what? in it that yeah. uh, that might aerate just as well. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting test. All right, I guess shall we do it? Yeah. All right. Let's. Let's let's get her done.
Think like two scoops? Sure. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Nope. Well, maybe you have to stir it longer. Huh? Maybe you have to... No, it's gotta be more diluted. It's, it's not even going in the ice. Like, look. Or you hadn't turned it on. Well, I just did 10 in, 10 in there. It just wasn't doing it. it. The ice was too big to let it. But it's doing it now. Huh? But it is doing it. Is it is now, now, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if our whole experiment is shot because uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. That was about the same amount of time, right? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, don't know. I was trying to point. like kind of simultaneously do it, but I guess that didn't, That's doesn't hard. really matter too much. Oh, that's nice aeration right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then. I don't know why my hand was just shaking. That was so weird. Um, all right, so uh, I'll tell you this. Inside the tin, when we were doing it, it was aerated. This was aerating it, but the bubbles did not stay at all, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna, I got some straws here. All right, Marius, moments of truth. Come and taste these. Okay. And tell me everything you can about it. I wanna hear about the texture. I wanna hear about the, I mean, like we know the flavors are gonna be the same because it's an identical, right. it's an identical drink, but I guarantee you this probably like diluted a little more. What should I start with? Ooh, and should we have some water for you? No, no it doesn't matter. Taste. Just, just taste whichever one. So uh -huh. this is the, that's the drink mixer one. Yeah. This, is, no, this is the uh, the Hamilton, not, this is the Hamilton Beach, and that is the milk froth. Okay. Well, what are your impressions? I mean, it, 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 yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. <laughs> you have to like. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell the difference with the aeration. I can see it, but is it really, is it lighter and fluffier? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't the wrong guy to ask about yeah, this. But I'm um, also um, a good guy to ask, because like, I don't know. Average I, gotta Joe. Say, I gotta say that the uh, the milk frother got uh, an F for presentation, for sure. Like, yeah. it did not do very well in the presentation. I can't imagine that the milk frother really did much by way of dilution, though. That's a thing. Yeah, it did look um, like it was a little bit less. Than it, this, well, than this. it got this thing. Yeah, it was less because there's less dilution here. This thing got stuck mm -hmm. in the ice, mm -hmm. so the ice pieces were too big. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Um, uh, I Honestly, them, I can't so. really tell the difference. Okay, well, there you have it. I don't know. I kind of feel like the Hamilton Beach lives it, to lives to fight another day yeah. because it did a superior job. And the thing is, is that if you're doing this at home, I guess it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. if you don't really mind what it looks like. But if you're a stickler for the appearance of your cocktail and a little bit more dilution, yeah. the Hamilton to Beach absolutely hands down did a better job. Yeah. So as far as pebble ice inside cocktails, this cannot replace a Hamilton Beach. Not yet, unfortunately. no. At least not this cheap one you got. Maybe there's one with a better motor. Maybe. You know, like a, a more expensive version that has a better motor. That's another experiment. But the question now remains, Marius. Mm -hmm. How will this do? Let's, oh, you want to try and froth it up a little bit more while it's in here? See if oh, we can like do this? whip up the foam. Right. You just totally, I was going to move on and yeah. you just, all right. Yeah, it's going really slow. Yeah, it does, it does not do the right, I mean, obviously not made for this, but. Oh, there you go. No, you, if you go to the top of it like that, you yeah. can get the aerated look. Yeah. I mean, dude, here's the thing. In a pinch, mm -hmm. in a pinch, if you're doing it in the glass, I guess, like in a pinch. It's having too many of these. I mean, I, I don't know. Right, I don't cool. even know so, what I'm tasting, but it's... Um... Right, but in a pinch, you... Okay, listen. If you're stuck on a desert island, yeah. this will do it if you build it in the glass and you can do it. The thing is, is you're gonna have to do this for a lot longer to mm -hmm. get the dilution that you want in the cocktail, for right. sure. 100% you're gonna have to do this longer. 
I still think the Hamilton Deep Beach, just in this circumstance, did a better job than this, but this is... Passable. Doable? Yeah. Is it doable? Yeah, it's, it's passable. passable. Is it passable? All right, we'll call this passable. All right, mm -hmm. this is passable. The question is this, though. Will this do well for a Ramos Shin Fizz? That's what we gotta figure out. Mm -hmm. So now, the next test that we're doing, part two, <clears throat> is we're gonna stack this up. We're gonna make, we're gonna see how this does in a Ramos. All right, stay tuned. All right, part two, we're doing the Ramos Gin Fizz and we're gonna talk about the method a little bit. So uh, what did we decide, Marius? We decided that we were not going to do the freezer method the way that I do it inside the Educated Barfly video. So freezer, me freezer method is out. Basically, we're just gonna build it in the tin. We're gonna froth with the hand frother. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take two pieces of ice, throw them in there, shake them till they're fully dissolved. Uh, I'll put an ounce and a half of uh, soda water in here, pour it in, and then we're gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes mm -hmm. to let it cook. I'm gonna poke a hole in it with a straw. We're gonna put it in and we're gonna see how well this does. Do you so, froth it before you shake it or after you shake it? No, you froth it before you shake it. Okay. You are basically, the the way that you would make a Ramos is you do a dry shake mm -hmm. and then you do a shake with ice. Wow. So the frother is gonna be replacing the dry shake. Got yeah. it? Got it. Got it. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Takes like a second before it starts. You know, wait, what did you say? I said it takes a second before it starts. Maybe that was yeah. where we messed up last time. You know, this is what I'm thinking about this is, will this over whip the heavy cream? Well, don't do that. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Yeah. But will it over whip? Yeah, but I don't, I've never tested this. I don't know how long it would take to over whip. I mean, I guess I could just like stop it and see like where it's at. Yeah. It doesn't seem over whipped to me. It's... Are you having it, is it all the way down or kind of at no, the No, it's top? kind of in the middle. There's like a spot in here where you can kind of create a cyclone and then you're seeing that everything is sort of mixing properly. It's yeah. like everything is working its way through the coils at the bottom of the spindle. I mean, I'm gonna, how long have I, how long did I do that? A while. I'm gonna call it good, I think. Yeah. You think so? I think so. That was okay. Old. Now we're gonna, we're gonna, using my hands. I'm gonna do three pieces, three of these pieces of ice. Give it a nice shake. And I'm gonna shake until the ice is totally dissolved. And while we're doing that, put a little, I think I'm gonna need two of these bad boys, by the way. Sure. Tiny. They're such small, tiny little, they're the cutest little soda waters I've ever seen. So what do you think, Marius? Oh, I feel like I should put a little more in there. Oh, it sounds like you're shaking it up. I'm gonna let that cook and settle. Oh, it's still, uh, still growing a little bit. Hmm? It, it was still rising up. Yeah, I think that the, the milk frother did a really good job, dude. It's still rising up a little bit. It's still mm -hmm. kind of getting a little muffin top on it. I'm gonna get a straw. I'm just gonna do a little hole poke with this massive straw. It's still kind of still coming up. Still going up. Yeah, this yeah. is going to do a, people are going to be happy with this. I think you could have just kept pouring a soda now. Well, I'm not going to pour soda. The thing is I poured the soda in the bottom. So what I'm going to pour oh, is the rest this? of the cocktail yeah, I don't... To, fo to foam it up. But look at that. It's actually getting a pretty good Ramos head already. Mm -hmm. But you see how it's like the, the foam is like starting to settle. Mm -hmm. I got to say the foam though is like, you can't see it from there because it's all white, but it's like it's like really big bubbles as I opposed to it. tight, tight, tight bubbles. Mm -hmm. So the quality of the foam is a little bit different, but I don't know if that bothers me. I mean, it's a good looking drink, dude, already. Maybe uh, double straining it would fix that. Double straining? No, you don't want to double strain this because then you're going to get rid of stuff. You like, 
Well, I don't know, actually, would you? I don't really know. I've never tried to double strain a Ramos. Well, good, judging by the uh, the uh, whiskey sour test, double straining it would make the would nice make the silky, tighter. Nice Maybe silky double foam. straining it like this, mm -hmm. but then I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's a, I think that's a test for another day because that, that's gonna make a big mess going into that little hole. We need to make sure it goes straight into this like little hole at the bottom. But this is looking pretty good though. I think I think it's time to to poke a hole in the meringue like that, like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna <coughs> pour the cocktail, the rest of the cocktail, into there. Yeah, I don't even know if you need it to make that hole, but yeah, perfect. Yeah, <coughs> it actually did make a very big hole uh, in there, but. Look at, look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that Ramos. That is, that is a thing of beauty right there. And then you shook for like 20 seconds. Yeah, the, I gotta say though, that the <clears throat> meringue is really, is really light. All right, come do your job. Oh, I'm gonna. Just do a little taste. You just to, just to make sure that, you know, everything tastes right and everything. Well, I've never tasted one before. Ow, so. Well. You'll know if it tastes gross. Okay. There you go. All right. Are you supposed to drink the foam? Well, yeah, you drink the foam down first. It's good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, the milk frother is a game changer for the Ramos. <clears throat> I feel like a regular Jeffrey Morgenthaler today because this is something that Jeffrey Morgenthaler would do. Like he makes his whiskey sours in a blender. Right. He would definitely appreciate this, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. There it is. Whoa! Game changer for the Ramos. It was only fifteen dollars on Amazon. Just, Just a cheap milk frother will do the job. How cool is that? I love it. And look how it's a nice stable foam. Look at that, mm -hmm. it's supporting the Surfside sip. All right, guys. If you guys want to change the the Ramos game, you can use a little milk frother and it will be minimal effort. Yes, I shook for about 20 seconds as Marius pointed out a little while ago. Uh, this was a fantastic test. So it failed at the one test, you know, yeah. it's not gonna aerate a tiki yeah. cocktail with pebble ice. It's just not a strong enough motor yeah. to really froth up that that pebble ice. But Although if you do it in the glass, I know you're gonna say that. Yeah. And, and the, if you do it longer and maybe more at the top of the fluid, the liquid. Yeah, but the thing is, is that it was even having trouble at the top. It was mm. only after the ice melted a little bit when we put it inside the glass, okay. maybe in a tighter space as well. It was a little bit easier. I'm not really sure, um, but uh, it definitely did an okay job in the glass. So it's it's passable. I said that like five times. Mm. I don't know. Everyone knows that it's passable. All right, but a game changer for the Ramos. I love this. I I, uh, I knew this was gonna work, dude, but I didn't know how well it was gonna work, and I'm so happy that it worked well. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, we're done with our test and uh, Marius has paid his penance for uh, for our, this Monday video. We had to slap it together because we had a little uh, mishap in editing. Uh, so we slapped this together and uh, I'm glad that we did because it was fun. So if you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for articles, merch, and our virtual bottle program where you can be part of the action. And you know how you're proud of the action? You buy us a bottle, we put your name on it, and we shout you out in the video and then you get to say, I was a part of that video, I helped the channel and that goes a very long way. So thank you very much for those people who have contributed and uh, thank you in advance to those people who will contribute. And I will see you guys on another time. Leandro, out.